What's going on people? It's been a while since I've been on YouTube on this particular channel. Um, I think I'm going to start coming back probably tomorrow. I'll start making uh, videos again on YouTube. Um, a lot of my time has been spent on TikTok and I have another channel on YouTube that I occasionally drop in and uh, maybe upload a video. Um, but I want to start working on this channel again building this channel okay because there's still potential with this channel um but one thought that's been in my mind just quickly i'm not going to be with you too long and like i said i'll probably make another video tomorrow during the daytime but it's interesting sitting back watching everything that's been going on and sometimes that's what you need to do sometimes you just need to just take a step back just be quiet um just sit back and observe. And I mentioned this before, how sometimes it's just best to sit back and observe and watch uh, what's going on around you. You know, everybody's got their opinions. everybody got their points of views. Um, but it really means nothing if you're not contributing to the betterment of life, be it your life, your children's life, uh, the life of your family members and your friends. Um, it seemed like everybody's kind of gone their own way. And what I find that's even more interesting is that I hear a lot of black Americans talk about how the over 400 years of captivity or that curse is now up. But what's interesting is, now that that curse is allegedly up or done with, it's as if black Americans are sinking back into the same curse that they just came out of. The same things that caused the most high to bring that curse upon the so-called black Americans. Now we reach the low where it's almost like we're inviting that curse upon us again. Now I know there's a lot of blacks that's talking about the Jim Crow uh, law that they're trying to enforce in Mississippi. But this is not a new thing. This is things that I personally, I don't know about anybody else, but I personally have been warning a lot of black Americans about f for years now. Okay. Um, Joe Biden in his speeches had even said they're going to put y'all back in chains. So I don't understand why so many black Americans are so upset about that Jim Crow law. They're making a big deal out of it. When, in my humble opinion, that only occurred because black Americans put themselves in that position. It's like you kept poking the bear and you have awakened a sleeping giant. It's been quiet for a while. Of course, it's been isolated racial incidents that took place, there's uh, the police killings that take place and blacks will protest and lay out in the street and loot and steal. But it's gotten to the point where a lot of whites and other immigrants are tired of the complaining of black Americans. Black Americans appear to be complaining and not working to produce any fruit among themselves. Black on black violence and crime and hatred. I mean, there's division between the black man and the black woman. There's black women that want to murder their unborn children. There's a lot of blacks that became Satanist. That's cursing God the Bible, the church, but yet 
they're promoting Satanism just by their actions. There's a saying that actions speak louder than words. So now black Americans are starting to head backwards, going back into the curses that were allegedly lifted after over 400 years. Instead of trying to better yourselves, black Americans have fallen into that victimized or the victim mentality or mindset where you're always complaining and crying and talking about white supremacy and racism without doing anything to help yourselves. So I just find it interesting and I'm going to talk about that later in a video um, that I make, you know, when I have time today or later on today because it's after 12 o'clock, it's 2.20 a.m. So I'll speak on that later on, but it's just weird sitting back watching the direction of the so-called black Americans where now you have Africans, you know, black Americans that always talked about how they want to go back to Africa. And what I find quite interesting is that the Africans are encouraging you to go to Africa. They're telling you how beautiful Africa is and how you got to come home and find your roots and we'll welcome you. But at the same time, and I posted this on TikTok, where you have Africans from Nigeria that's legally entering into Canada. They're now migrating and flocking to Canada, the United States, Russia, and other Western nations. They are fleeing Africa while they're telling you to go to Africa. And I mentioned in a video of the past how Africans are trying to replace the so-called black Americans here in America. See, they're coming here wanting to work. Black Americans are trying to refrain from working. Black Americans want to remain on public assistance. Black Americans want to remain in the justice system, in prison. And I'm watching video after video of black Americans committing crimes and um, just violent crimes. You know, instead of trying to build yourself, build your family, take care of your family, you're destroying your families. And the Africans and other migrants that come here, they see that and they don't respect you at all. I just watched a video where they're trying to break into Canada. And this female from Nigeria was holding her child and she was in tears talking about she's from Africa and she just want to work and she wants to enter into Canada and, and she's aware that she's illegal. And, and these are people that I guess in their own way feel that they were struggling in the continent of Africa, whatever they country, whatever country they come from in Africa, they felt that they were not able to support themselves. They're looking at black Americans and the opportunities that black Americans have here that black Americans are not taking advantage of. And so when they come here, they don't respect you. They don't respect you at all. And now I'm hearing a lot of the so-called conscious community, the so-called pro-blacks or back to African people now talking about how they're being treated and shunned by the Africans, right? So the people that you worship, that you wanted to be like, they're trying to be like you. They're trying to take your place. And I think that there is hope for the so-called black Americans. But what black Americans have to do is first, the parents will have to get themselves right. You have to get back into the job market. 
I know you have a problem with the wages. You feel that you should be make, making more money. But most of you don't have any skills. So you're going to have to work with what you have. You know, get back into the job market. Start trying to support your family. Keep your kids off the street, man. Because your children are dying. Stop aborting your children. Try to repair the, repair the relationship between the black man and the black woman. The black family structure. And once you start building your family, you start working and earning your keep. Take it back to where we were back in the 60s, the 70s. And even parts of the 80s. But now we have so much. But yet the stuff that we have, we have the mindset that we've made it. And in reality, we haven't. We're sinking further and further and further back into captivity. Where now you have white people now just standing up saying that they want you lynched. Right? That senator, a lot of y'all speaking against him, but I think he was being sarcastic because if you listen carefully, there was a black man in there. And this black man was saying like, so... What do you say? Do, you, do, we, do we shoot him in the head? Uh, in the heart? And then the senator came back and says, Well, you know what? I propose that, you know, we hang them by a tree. You know, and I'm willing to sign that. But there was a black man that was also there that was talking about, you know, um, putting them before a fire line. They were talking about black people. To put you before a fire line. Whether they should shoot you in the head or in the chest. And then this dude brings back, you know, well, what about hanging from a tree? Right? And y'all are upset with this white senator. But you said nothing about this black man. You say nothing about what Biden is doing. And what he's not doing. You know, so. Again. I'm going to speak on this in a, in a later video. Um, I didn't mean to talk this long, um, but just wanted to let you know that I'm back and subscribe to the channel. And just we just need to to get ourselves together, man. And we need to put aside, man, whatever thoughts, because a lot of what we see now that's happening in this nation with the so-called black American, even with just race relations. Um, this is all due to Democrat Republican war that's going on between you. This is a divided nation. United we stand, divided we fall. Right? And you have outside forces like Russia, Ukraine, because I think this is a big setup with Ukraine. Um, Ukraine is playing America, right? And Biden can't see it and maybe he do see it, but they have something on Biden that they don't want to come out. So, but that's another, that's another topic. But you have China, the enemies are sitting back waiting for an opportune moment to attack. And it won't be hard because America is so divided among themselves. Just among the people. If anything, the people should unite. Yes, you're going to have your racist white people. You're going to have your racist black people. But overall, we should be supporting each other. And black Americans, instead of you being on the bottom, playing victim and poor pity me and wanting handouts, you should be trying to get a lot of these jobs that's open. Okay, because a lot of people lost their jobs during the pandemic. A lot of people quit their jobs because they wanted the government to support them. And now you're struggling even more. I mean, the rent has gone up to like $1,500, man, for an apartment. That's insane. And people can't afford that. So you're becoming more and more and more dependent upon the government. Do you really want that? Do you really want this government to have that kind of control over you? Your life and your family's life. Where they can just cut it off at any moment. So anyway I'll talk about that in later videos. But we really need to get ourselves together man. And this is not just for black Americans. You know. 
We need to start taking better care of ourselves. If you look at the talents that black Americans had, I mean, R&B is gone. Rap is gone to, to crap, right? What they call rap music, we don't hear much about jazz anymore. Um, or quartet music, man, we need to get back to our roots. And I'm not talking about African roots or slave roots, but we need to get back to our roots where we are creative people, where, what made us great in the first place. What made the world envy us, we need to get back with that. To find that gift and that talent within ourselves, we need to start creating again. Start creating, right? That raw talent that's sitting dormant within us, we need to get back to that, man. And stop complaining about every little thing, man. Every time somebody say something or do something, we're crying. And there's a saying, there's an old saying that a hit dog will holler. So they can tell, the enemy can tell when they hurt you because you holler. Every single time they hit you, you holler. You start crying and complaining. You know, and then when they start talking about Jim Crow, you got black women getting on TikTok crying, talking about, oh Lord, I'm so scared. What did we were going to do now? Where well, you created that environment. You allow the Democrats to manipulate you and put you in a position, man, where you're you're now heading for self-destruction. You're now self-destructing. You know? But you can reverse that. You can reverse that, first of all, by leaving the Democratic plantation. Yes, there are rhinos out there. Republicans and names only. You know? And yes, a lot of Republicans uh, uh, kind of like band with the, with the Democrats against the people they're lacing their pockets while you're struggling and then they're gonna come and they're gonna feed you some crumbs they're gonna feed you some lies to get you to vote for them again and help them but anyway I'm just now coming back to YouTube so I'm not gonna say something to get this video removed but they're gonna put you back in a position man you know where you're helpless, dependent upon them, and they're lacing their pockets with our tax dollars. You know, but, you know, people, you need to wake up. They need to wake up. And it's not just black people that they're targeting. They are attacking American citizens. You know, on every level. And what's even worse is that the black community, especially black men, allowed them to turn you to each other think of what kind of psychology and power that is to cause black men to start loving up on each other you don't want women no more you want a man to the point where now you're fighting and protesting you don't want civil rights you just want the right to be called a woman but, I'll speak on that later on, but yeah, feedback, tell me what you think, subscribe, click on the cash app, support the channel, but we need to, we need to do better, right? And there is hope for the so-called black Americans, but we're going to have to reverse that curse that most of us aren't allo are allowing ourselves to delve back into. You're diving back into the curse that you've come out. The most high lifted the curse. So now you're free. But it's like that elephant that's trapped in a cage. And he's been trapped so long that when the door is open he's still sitting there. As strong as that elephant is he's still sitting behind that cage because he's conditioned. See. So it could be reversed. You're going to have to reverse it. Reverse that curse, man. You guys are putting yourself back in chains again. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.